time to get up, Kyle. In a minute, Mr. President. All right, Tess. Class, turn your test. Hold on a second, Miss Wardo. Kyle, it is time to go. Five more minutes, Mom. And everyone knows this situation. We are all guilty of the actions previous. Constantly begging for five more minutes. There never seems to be enough time in the day. Sometimes we take a step back and think, man, I just wish I could go back to pre-K, turn back a few juice boxes, color an awesome dinosaur, and just take a nap. Wouldn't that be nice? The reality is, though, that we won't ever be back to those days. Not until we're 96 and crazy, at least. <laughs> there comes a time when you have to wake up Put those size 32 hangs on and face the mad, demented world, as hesitant as we may be. We find comfort, however, in the fact that this world becomes temporarily obsolete as we gaze off into dreamland. Perhaps that's why it's always so difficult to wake up. As depressing and cold as it seems, the world is ahead of all of us and facing it is imminent. Can I just hit the snooze button? Some may say that as high school is ending, we are forced to wake up from our slumbers and conquer what the world just can't wait to throw at us. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't do derivatives and punnet squares in my dreams. Which is why I say this, never stop dreaming in this world of hate and endeavors. For your dreams and aspirations are what will get you, out, get you out of any slum or blight. Your goal set so high and your intention so beautiful. You will achieve all that you aspire to as long as you can dream it. On behalf of the senior class of 2013, I welcome all of you to the graduation ceremony of the class of dreamers. Your five minutes are up. You're out of seconds and your snooze button stopped working. You hit that darn thing so many times. It's time to face the world, graduates. So set your alarm clocks and mark your dates because this next journey begins now. Thank you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing as we go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, I'd like to thank you for bringing us this far. May your blessings shower this service as we begin to take the next step into our future. As we come to you today, I'd like to make a special request. I ask that you keep your guiding hands on Miss Sermons and her family. Keep their spirits high and comfort them in their times of need. We admire Miss Sermons for her strength, courage, and endurance. As my classmates and I continue our journey of life, we pray that you will direct us to the paths you would have us to take and help us to possess the qualities that will elevate us to the next level of success. In your name I pray, amen. My name is Sarah Kate Miles, and I would like to recognize the following special guests this evening. Please stand when your name is called. Audience, hold your applause until all names have been called. Mr. Larry Smith, member of Bacon County Board of Commissioners. Mr. Kenny Murphy, member of Bacon County Board of Commissioners. Mr. Hobart Taylor, Vice Chairman, Bacon County Board of Commissioners. Mr. Lee Hagans, member of Bacon County Board of Commissioners. Mr. Roy Newberry, Jr., member of Bacon County Board of Commissioners. Mrs. Janet Merritt, Principal, Bacon County Primary School. Ms. Tracy Martin, Assistant Principal, Bacon County Primary School. Dr. Stephanie Dean Cooks, Principal, Bacon County Middle School. Dr. Darrell Ellis, Assistant Principal, Bacon County High. Dr. Mark, Mr. Mark Cohen, 
Chairman, Bacon County School Board. Miss Deborah Evey, District 2, Bacon County School Board. Mr. Dan Taylor, District 3, Bacon County School Board. Mr. Kevin Eason, District 4, Bacon County School Board. Miss Martha Lee, District 5, Bacon County School Board. Mr. Darren Wheeler, District 6, Bacon County School Board. Miss Eve Thomas, Interim Superintendent. Miss Teresa Sermons, Principal, Bacon County High School. Mr. Richard Foskey, Sheriff, Bacon County. Mr. Bill Johnson, Bacon County Tax Commissioner. Ms. Shelley Hurst, Assistant Principal, Bacon County Elementary School. Ms. Peggy Murphy, Mayor of Alma. Ms. Rosie Williams, City Council Member. Mr. Gladwin Harper, Assistant Principal, Bacon County Middle School. Mr. George Roberts, City Council Member. Mr. Joe Boatwright, Chief Magistrate. Ms. Jennifer Carver, County Attorney. Thank you. extremely honored to be standing in front of you all tonight. This is a special day for us. We are at an intersection in the path of our lives. From the first day of school until now, we have formed bonds of friendship that will last a lifetime. We have achieved a great milestone just by being here tonight. Society has always said the number 13 was bad luck, but look at what we've accomplished. We have one of the largest graduating classes in recent memory, as well as over one-fourth of our class graduating with honors. Looking back, this day didn't seem possible, as we took naps during primary school, played on the playground in elementary school, got our first cell phones in middle school, and then off to high school with the excitement of getting our driver's license. It seems like just yesterday we were nervous about being the freshmen of BCHS. The years flew by, and now here we are on this field tonight as graduating seniors. First, on behalf of my entire class, I would like to recognize those to whom we owe a tremendous debt of gratitude to, and that would be all of the wonderful teachers we've had through the years, the ones who encouraged us to do our very best. I would especially like to thank Ms. Tanya Bordeaux. She motivated us to accept a challenge instead of getting discouraged and giving up. It's teachers like Ms. Bordeaux and Mr. Brent Johnson, this year's star teacher, who care genuinely for the students that have made our school flourish. I also cannot fail to mention Ms. Teresa Sermons and what she means to our school system. We are very thankful to have Ms. Sermons here with us tonight. She's the glue that holds our high school together. We love you, Ms. Sermons. I would also like to recognize those who were not in the classroom, but in the extracurricular activities of our lives. I would like to say thank you to all of the coaches, club advisors, counselors who have helped us to become the well-rounded young adults we are today. We are also very grateful to our parents and family members who have supported us through the years. They're the ones who gave up their time to carry us to and from school, pick us up from practices, and countless other activities. Because of the support and dedication all of our families gave, along with the community, Bacon County excelled this year in all areas of athletics. For those of you who don't know, there wasn't an empty seat at a home football game this past season. All of our parents went to great lengths to make sure we had what we needed to be successful. To each and every one of you, we would like to say thank you. Last but not least, we should thank each other. Thank each other for being there, for being a friend, both in and out of the classroom. Don't we all remember playing on the playground at the old primary school and having to stand on the log when we got in trouble? Or having to go to the auditorium to watch SpongeBob on a rainy day in PE? Or maybe in elementary school when silent lunch was just an unimaginable torture? Or our first school dance in sixth grade when we were all too shy to step out onto the dance floor? Or maybe when we got to high school and finally realized who our true friends were? And though we might have formed cliques, didn't include someone or made someone mad, we're still part of a group, a class, a connection that we will have with each other that will never be broken. We will never forget all the wonderful memories we made. We're a very special class. We were the last class to graduate from the old primary school, the last class to use the old elementary school gym, 
and now we will be one of the last classes to graduate from the old high school. What a legacy we will leave behind. We all grew up together and the bonds between us are inseparable. And though it's time to say goodbye, we still have countless memories to look back on and cherish in the days to come. But this is the day we go our separate ways to better ourselves and become the hardworking men and women of our generation. This chapter of our lives is over, but the next chapter is just beginning. I challenge each and every one of you, my classmates, to be as successful in the years to come as you have been in years past. It's been a great 13 years with you, class of 2013. Congratulations and good luck to each and every one of you.
Good afternoon, class of 2013. It is my privilege to stand before you today and leave you with some final words before we accept our diplomas and move on to the rest of our lives. In our freshman year, we walked into BCHS, wide-eyed and eager for whatever awaited us. When we blinked our eyes, we opened them only to find us here at our high school graduation. We now face many decisions in our lives, decisions to, that the answer to will not come easy. Many of us fear what is waiting ahead of us after we leave here today and embark on the new chapter in our lives. In the words of Paulo Coelho, there is only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve, the fear of failure. My wish for you, class of 2013, is never to fear. Do not fear failure, for you must fail in order to succeed. Do not fear college. An education will not come easy, but neither will a good job. Do not fear to make a mistake, for nobody is perfect. Do not fear your future. Instead, I wish you courage. Courage to face the unknown. Courage to change your major at least two times. Courage to follow your own path and not give in to what others think. Courage to keep your head up and eyes looking directly at whatever comes your way. Henry David Thoreau said, Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you've imagined. I know each of you sitting before me has a dream that you have imagined that you hope to accomplish, but somehow feel it is impossible to achieve. I'm here to tell you that it is not impossible. In our freshman year, you set your mind on graduating high school. At times it may have seemed as if you would never make it through those four years, but you did. You can and will achieve whatever dreams you have as long as you have faith in yourself. These last four years weren't easy, and neither will be the upcoming years. Don't blink though, because before you know it, you may be graduating from college, getting married, having kids, or starting your career. I know I'm not the only one who has had adults come up and say how quickly time flies after they have graduated high school. I promise you, we will be those adults one day, <laughs> preaching about how quickly time has passed us by. Therefore, I wish you patience, class of 2013. Do not rush. Instead, enjoy your lives and the future that awaits you. Until now, the number one goal in our lives has been to graduate high school. The most important thing, obviously to everyone here, was to be able to walk across the field here at Morris Johnson Stadium and receive a diploma. However, tonight is not, and will not be, the most important moment in your life. These past 13 years have been only a preparation for what is yet to come. Fearlessness, courage, and patience are just a few qualities that will bring you success. Many of you are thinking, how do you know? My answer is, I don't know. But aren't those qualities you would want to possess as you encounter the future? Some of you sitting before me have your lives all mapped out and know exactly what you plan to do regarding your future plans and college, but most of you don't. Most of you have no idea what you want to do come the fall, and that's okay. It's okay not to know everything. Isn't that what makes life wonderful, the not knowing part? To face the unknown future that lies before each of you, may you never lose faith. I'm telling you all this because I want you all to be successful. I want you to go to, to go to college and earn a higher degree. Most importantly, I want all of you to enjoy the little things in life because as I said, they are gone in the blink of an eye. Before I close, I would like to leave you with one final quote by Dr. Seuss, and it is also our senior class motto. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You are on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the guy who will decide where to go. Senior class of 2013, as we say our goodbyes today, I pray that goodbyes more of us see you later. I hope to see and hear about each of your successes in the years to come. Thank you and congratulations. Ms. Eve Thomas, Superintendent of Bacon County Schools. Dr. Ellis and I proudly present to you the 2013 candidates for graduation from Macon County High School. Haley Elise Bonador. Courtney Laurel Carter.
Carly, Suzanne, Clements. Sarah Kate Miles. Caroline Nicole Taylor. Kaylee Aaron Anderson. Tara Rose Barber. Abby Victoria Boatwright. Emily Caroline Boatwright. Jalen Allie Boatwright. Romeo Carino. Mauricio Omar Satina. Brooke Nicole Cother. Mackenzie Jerry Davis. Mariah Shante Gibbs. Brianna Nicole Hart. Andrea Lee Heflin. Joshua Blade Holton. Sarah Elizabeth Lewis. Karen Laredo. Jacob Richard McNabb. Anna Marie Meeks. Erica Logan Newberry. Amber Leanne Perryman. Alexandra Jean Hendro. Kyle David Sutherland. Dallas Justin Spivey. Lindsay Nicole Taylor. Gregory Lawrence Turner. Brittany Nicole Wiles. Brock Kinley All. Edward Keegan Bedgood. Christopher Justin Bell.
Jerome Bell. Lana Christine Bennett. Seth Lee Berryhill. Ashlyn Danielle Boatwright. Derek Lane Burge. Brittany May Bush. William Christopher Carter. Donald Travis Christmas. Hunter Nicole Corson. Richard Lamar Crawford. Brittany Nicole Crosby. Lane Dillon Daly. Ryan Dillon Dean. Juan Daniel Diaz. Samuel Michael Ditchkoff. Kayla Dawn Dixon. Taylor Aaron Duncan. Hunter Bryant Ellis. Sierra Erskine. <laughs> Timothy Lamar Evans. <laughs> Samantha Lee Gonzalez. Alexis Lachelle Graham. <laughs> Justice Janae Graham. <laughs> Chance James Hedden. Sarah Elizabeth Hunto. <laughs> Kyrie Dewan Jenkins. <laughs> Jason Johnson. Marie Johnson. Shaquana Nequisha Johnson.
Aaron Draven Lawson. Kimberly Dawn Lee. Matthew Neil Lee. Taylor J. Lee. Colby Bryce Madison. Krista Nicole McClellan. Gabrielle Uriah McIntyre. Martavius Dewan Merritt. Justin Lee Miles. Takoria Kiana L. Miley. Chelsea Renee Mills. Shaniqua Chantel Morgan. Asia Monet Murchison. Christopher Scott Music. Naisha Sanika Mayer. Bobby O'Leary Oliver. Raj Kumar Kashav Patel. Jeffrey Keith Perry. Curtis DeAndre Pickett. <laughs> Drew Aaron Porter. <laughs> Katie Diane Quinn. Saquon Aquinas Reynolds. Sarah Nancy Elizabeth Roberts. Andrew Hollis Rogers. Christopher Logan Sass. Marcus D. Adam Sellers.
Norman Bradley Sharp. Zachary James Dylan Simmons. Shamar Gregory Smiley. Nikendra Shante Smith. Jennifer Denise Street. John Sloan Surrency. Rodney Matthew Tapley. Kelsey Marie Taylor. Macy Nicole Taylor. Tyler Stanford Taylor. Taylor Thrift. <laughs> Laura Yadira Torres. Angel Brooke Wade. Justin Trent Wade. Courtney Nicole Waters. Stephanie Lee Waters. Tabitha Joy Whitaker. <laughs> Kayla Leanne Whitley. <laughs> Terry Jadon Wiley. Dakota Hunter Williams. <laughs> Natara Rashira Natrice Wooten. <laughs> Greg Martez Wright. and the Georgia Board of Education, I proclaim you, graduates of Bacon County High School, Class of 2013.
Dear God, I just want to take the time to thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us to come together and celebrate the passing of this milestone in our lives. Thank you for being with us the past 18 years and getting us to this point. I just ask that you continue to be with each graduate and give us your guidance and protection as we go on our own paths and start our next journey. Also, be with our family and friends. Give them comfort in knowing they will always be in our hearts. Watch over us and keep everyone safe as we go our separate ways. Amen.